On a closed platform at Vilnius Central Station, a train from Moscow is arriving. On board are passengers traveling to Kaliningrad. They're about to come face to face with the brutal truth about Putin's war in Ukraine. Every day, the train from Moscow or St. Petersburg uh, is stopping here in Vilnius uh, for the 10, 15 minutes, and the people has an opportunity to see this exhibition at the time when the train is standing on the platform. And the pictures are from the front line in the Ukraine. So the people from Russia can see the real uh, pictures, not the propaganda, the close-ups, uh, the wounds, and uh, there is a question on the pictures also, and that question is asking that Putin today is killing peaceful uh, people of Ukraine. Are you okay with that? The photographs have been in place since March 2022, a month after Russian forces crossed the border into Ukraine. Here's mostly Kiev and, and Mariupol. There is this picture from Mariupol from the maternity hospital. It's, I think, well known already. Many of the images are too graphic to show in this film. It must be very clear pictures that it's a real war happening in Ukraine. It's not a special operation. It's real war, real killing people, the wounds. It must has no doubt what, what is going on. So they are quite, let's say, maybe sometimes shocking, but uh, it's only this way they will believe that, that, that that's the truth. That's not like a, a, some uh, shooting of the movie or something like that. On average, 100 trains a month pass through Lithuania, each with around 100 people on board. At other stations, passengers on these transit trains can access free Wi-Fi to browse the internet without the Kremlin's restrictions. But before they do, they're confronted with images of the war. But seeing and believing are two very different things. You know, it's very hard what, uh, to say what they think. Uh, you know, when you have uh, like uh, 10 pictures uh, of the exhibition you can see in a 10 minutes to compare with the uh, months and years of, um, I don't know, millions of hours when their brains are washed. We understand that we wouldn't change their mind with those pictures. But maybe uh, they will stop for a minute to re rethink that maybe it's something different than they receive every day in their media. The photos have been placed directly at the height of the train windows, on both sides of the track. For those inside, there's only one way to hide from the horror of the war, and many of them do. Others are defiant. In Russia, that hand gesture is akin to the Western middle finger. I saw the people once. It was once from my like 10, 12 times I've been here with a journalist that only once the people was like, they showing like this one, like they were sorry for what was happening, but it was only once. Few are willing to show their faces to our camera, but near the front of the train, we encountered a man staring openly at the photographs, his train carriage curtains wide open. The thick glass makes communication difficult and subject to interpretation. Uh, there is a saying that people doesn't understand each other when they don't understand what the terminology means. You can think that he shows that it's peace, but maybe he thinks that it means his victory. But one passenger made their thoughts crystal clear. On that paper, it was written that, that Lithuanian people are killing peaceful uh, people. 